Before we get into this video, I have a huge announcement. Me, the Pokeraf, Ozimitsu and Pokedan will be hosting our own Pokemon YouTube panel at London Anime Con on February 16th, 2019. I honestly can't believe I've gotten an opportunity like this, but I'm super excited for it. If you are within the UK area and want to meet me there, I'll leave the Anime Con details in the description below. The actual panel will happen at 2pm GMT on the gaming stage, and I'll even be trying my best to livestream the actual panel to this YouTube channel. With that said though, let's now roll the intro for this video. What's going on guys, I'm Ernst Maze, and recently a brand new episode for the Pokemon Sun and Moon anime aired on TV. Episode 105, Decisive Lycanroc Battle, Ash vs Gladion, which it was an adequate time watching the episode. So because of that, I've decided for today's video that I will review this latest episode. Hopefully getting yourself to check out the episode too, if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments down below for today's question of the day though, what you personally thought of this episode. i love to hear. With my intro for this video now said though, let's jump right into this review. So the episode begins off with a nice recap of what our characters are doing for their personal projects on Pony Island. Ash at this moment in time though, wants to have a battle with Hapu after witnessing her strapping power from the previous episode, but couldn't find her at her house. In which Nurse Joy, who was nearby, informs Ash that she could be praying at the Ruins of Hope, the home of Tapu Fini. So, Ash decides to go visit there. We then cut to see why Hapu is praying to Tapu Fini, and that is because she feels like she's lacking all the power her grandfather had as a kahuna, and wants to become a kahuna herself. Though, Tapu Fini doesn't seem to answer her prayers, which makes Hapu pretty disappointed. Meanwhile, over at the adorable Lily though, Snowy seems to sniff out a familiar scent and runs off to find the source of it, with Lily following behind, and the source turns out to be your edgy boy, Gladion, who when in a conversation with Lily, reveals he's on Pony Island to challenge Tapu Fini to a grand trial battle, and even ask it about his dad. As it seemed like his dad unfortunately passed away, which Tapu Fini has the ability to call upon souls or something like that. I don't know, it was kind of boring to me. <laughs> but it also explains why Hapu was praying to Tapu Fini to hopefully get in contact with her grandfather. Although Gladion and Lily make it seem like their dad Morn is dead, his story is the exact same from the games from the looks of things though. A.K.A. he had an accident revolving around an ultra wormhole when Lily and Gladion were only young. Which of course, we then find Morn in the Poké Pelago. So, Morn is bound to be alive in the anime too, and soon play a major role due to him getting mentioned here. More on that later though. Overall though, this conversation between Gladion and Lily was pretty sweet due to the music. I already knew about Morn, so that to me was just decent. Going back to Hapu though, her Musto accidentally gets injured in a way and goes on a little tantrum because of it. But Ash who was nearby, identifies the problem and solves it, in which Hapu thanks Ash and requests she will do anything for him. But of course, Ash asks for a battle. But Hapu still refuses much like the previous episode. After this though, Ash then informs Hapu that he's planning to have a grand troll against Hapu Fini. And Hapu, who only really seems to play by the official Grand Trial rules, hates the idea of Ash wanting to challenge Tapu Fini to a battle, and even gets a Moosedale to kick Ash across Pony Island. Which, I'm not gonna lie, made me cough up laughter. It was just very unexpected, yet funny. Oh dear. <laughs> Upon landing though, Ash finds himself near Gladion and Lily who are planning to battle as Gladion wants to train. But seeming as Ash was here, Gladion then asks Ash for a battle instead, which of course, he accepts. And Hapu nearby comes to watch the battle as well due to her secretly being interested in Ash's persistence. In fact, she gets so surprised during the battle that Ash has a rare Lycanroc form 
Battles for Fun, Knows the Island Guardians, and that both him and Gladion have unbelievable strategies in battles, which makes us start to admire Ash secretly, due to Hapu only knowing to go all out with powerful battles and nothing else I believe, which is pretty interesting. We'll be seeing more of that in future episodes. Jumping into this battle though, Bro, it was lit. Lycanroc vs Lycanroc, 1v1. The battle had rapid speed, like seriously it's sometimes too quick for you to witness, Surprising strategies such as using counter on a Z move, sword stance and wall jumping, superb attacks such as biting an armor then punching feet over Lycanroc in the face, and of course, the Z moves. Bro, they were impressive. Glad you're actually having the dragon type Z move, which already is cool enough that he went back to the canyon to get that, and he actually destroys Ash in the battle with it, making him lose. I actually cheered seeing Gladion win. It just demonstrated his power perfectly. Gotta love that fist bump too. The music during this battle too. Oh, it was so good. More on that later though. Just overall, this battle was surprisingly perplexing. A.K.A. Tremendous. Whew. Calming down. It was just that great to me. The episode that ends up with Tapufini witnessing this battle from above with our characters then noticing this. This to then continue on into the next episode. Whew. <laughs> with that story now said, let's now move on to my overall thoughts regarding this episode. As you hopefully saw during the storytelling section, I actually didn't have that much to say about the first half of the episode whatsoever, and that is because I honestly found it to be quite boring for the majority of it. But, when we move on to the second half of the episode, bro, it exceeded my expectations I had when watching the rest. It was simply splendid. But of course, I guess that's to be expected because it was dedicated to a battle anyway, aka Ash vs Gladion. Plus, you know, you just saw my hype I got just by talking about the battle. <laughs> Going back to the first half of the episode though, now yes, I get it was dedicated to basically building up future plot points, aka Happy wants to become a Kahuna, and Gladion wants to find out more about his father, which is essential to keep the story flowing, but if you kept up with the anime news and just have a general knowledge of the Pokemon Sun Moon games, you would have already known about everything that was stated in the first half of this episode, which is why I personally found it to be quite dull. Though, with that said, if you haven't played the Sun and Moon games or keep up with the anime news, then this first half of the episode might be very intriguing for you. And because of that, I can't hate that much on the first half of the episode. It was just establishing everything else for the future. So, I kept that in mind when it came to planning a rating for this episode as well, which you will see later on, just to try and make it as fair as possible. Regardless of knowing those plot points already though, I am pretty intrigued to see how all of this will develop in later episodes. Most particularly, Morn, aka Lily and Gladion's father, seeming as I didn't expect him to get a role in the anime whatsoever. In fact, many people months ago would come and ask me what role I think Morn would have in the anime, and I always replied, I don't know, or I don't see him appearing in the anime. <laughs> So, it's kinda nice to see it actually be bought up. Hopefully, he will play a role when it comes to the inedible team score arc. You guys should already know my theory when it comes to that. To at least mention something else positive for the first half of the episode though, I guess in Hyper's personality once again was very endearing. I'm telling you, I can see Hapu ending up becoming one of my favourite Sun and Moon anime characters at this rate, with that stunning personality and soon to be development. Oh yeah, I might as well mention as well that Hapu apparently is a kid, although I thought she was an adult, so that makes perfect sense when taking a look at how she acts overall and actually fits her character dearly. Moving on to the second half of the episode though, although I found boy so much of it already in the storytelling section, I just have to elaborate more on how much I adored everything my eyes witnessed. Honestly, at times, it felt like I was watching some Dragon Ball scene due to how fast these Lycan Rocks were. It was stupendous, and along with those strategies both sides of the field had, such as wall jumping and using counter on a Z move, were very intelligent and sharp-witted, making the enjoyment grow a fast amount. 
In fact, I think this episode showcased Gladion's strength perfectly compared to any other episode, which was attractive for me to witness, as sometimes I felt like the anime didn't really show Gladion's strength as well as they should have. Now that Ash has lost to Gladion for a second time as well, this means he can now defeat Gladion in the Alola League, like I'm predicting. As always, I believe there's going to be an anime exclusive character to defeat Ash, or it will be for Masquerel to follow the Pokemon games in some kind of fashion. To see more of my thoughts on how I think the Alola League will go, check out the video I'll leave in the description, I card, and end card. One thing I do want to state though that is quite disappointing, is the fact that we've still only really seen Ash have 1v1 battles against his rivals. Like come on, we're 100 plus episodes in, we should have at least seen a 3 3 3 battle at this moment in time, especially with the league around the corner. In fact, this episode went out of his way to show us Gladion training with all 3 of his Pokemon, which that would have been a perfect setup for him to then have a 3 3 3 battle against Ash. But no. I mean, don't get me wrong, I am very satisfied with the battle we received, but I'm sure all of us are craving more action from these rivals. Many people have been commenting to me saying that they believe the Alola League won't even have 6v6 battles at this rate, because many characters who are going to enter only have 3 or 4 Pokemon, and we're still only seeing 1v1 battles. And if that actually happens, bro, I'll be so disappointed. My favourite thing when it comes to the Pokemon Leagues is the fact that it gives us an excuse to finally witness 6v6 battles as we never really get to witness them before the League. However, I am hopeful Gladion has more Pokemon in his arsenal yet to be revealed, Kyori borrowing some Pokemon, and of course Ash using some of his old Pokemon when it comes to this League. The anime can't just do us like that, I can't be the only one who would want to see 6v6 battles, and I'm sure the anime knows that too. Wow, I uh, got kind of off track there, <laughs> but I felt like some of this Alola League stuff needed to be said. But when it comes to this review at least, that concludes the story section. So let's now move on to the animation and music aspects. Firstly for the animation, it was fluid throughout the whole thing, however my particular favourite highlights have to be the normal moves we got to witness in the battle, the beautiful dragon type C move, and although this might sound weird, I really like how the Ruins of Hope looked in the anime. As for the music aspects, why is nobody talking about the music on Twitter? It was extraordinary. From the beautiful Lily anime theme, which fit the atmosphere during the Morn scene perfectly, the Sun and Moon battle music during the Gladion battle was excellent, the very hype Gladion anime theme was just, whew, that made me jump out of my chair in excitement. And finally, I have no idea what the hell the tune was that played when Gladion used his Dragon Type C move, but it radiated such immense power with just its tune. It was dirty. A good kind of dirty. So overall, the music in this episode was mwah. With that said, that concludes all the sections for this review. So all that's left is to give a rating for this episode, which I'm going to give it a uh, 6.5 out of 10. Like I said, I only really enjoy the battle along with the music beside it when it comes to this episode. Though, I still kept in mind that this episode needed to establish plot points, which is why it gave an extra plus one point when it comes to this rating, hopefully making the rating look fair. Overall though, I would recommend that you watch this episode if you haven't already, as it is important to be Pony Island Dark, and come on, you don't want to miss out on the Gladion battle. You saw how excited I got over that. <laughs> if you have watched this episode though, then let me know in the comments down below what you personally thought of this episode though. I love to hear. But that everybody now finishes off this review. So if you enjoyed this video, then please be sure to consider leaving a like, a share, and if you're new here, and subscribe along with it and that bell icon to stay in loop with all things Pokemon anime related. If you want to support this channel in any further way, I also have a Patreon. Link in the description below. Thank you for watching everybody, this is Anthony Maze, signing out.